Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Ugreen Nexode 140 watt charger. And this is one of the most powerful compact chargers that you're going to find on the market today. It delivers 140 watts through power delivery 3.1 and it uses new GANfast technology, which allows the charger to output a huge amount of power in a small compact form factor. And what's great about this charger is that it's not only smaller than the official Apple MacBook Pro 14 and 16 inch chargers, but it also has the advantage of being able to charge three separate devices all at once. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of this device. I'm going to be showing you how it all works. I'm going to be demonstrating charging on a MacBook, on a phone, and also on a Steam Deck as well, just to see how well this actually works and also comparing them to their original chargers. Thank you very much to Ugreen for actually sending me this charger for me to review today. However, this is going to remain an unbiased review that's not going to be affected by the fact that they've sent this to me. And today what I'm going to do is do a quick unboxing and showing you how it all works. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tech tutorials. So now I'm going to do a quick look at the actual box itself. So on the side here, it's saying that it can charge a MacBook Pro 16 inch from 0 to 56% in about 30 minutes. So that makes it a very fast charger, much faster than the original Apple charger. It also uses Gantec, which is gallium nitride, which is a new type of circuitry, which allows the charger to be much more compact and to deliver the necessary amount of power. We also have an icon here for safe charging. On the side here, we have some specifications, 140 watt fast charging, charge two laptops on a phone at the same time, multiple protections and GAN technology again. And on the back, it's saying here that the different USB ports have different outputs. So if you want to be able to charge 140 watts, then you need to be using the USB-C one. I'll be showing you that in a moment. Nevertheless, the total power output is 140 watts max. So here we're going to go ahead and unbox this, going to pull back the tabs on the side, and then we're going to flip this over. So this is the device in the box, I'll take this out. So it's a relief to see that we have the UK plug attached to this. So there's no additional cabling, it's fairly compact. So it's not as compact as the US version. I'm gonna show you what the US version will look like. However, it is a relief to have this because having it attached like this makes it much more compact. So at the bottom, we've got USB-C one, which is the power delivery at 140 watts. Then USB-C2, we've got power delivery at 100 watts. And then we've got this USB-A port here. So we've got three ports in total, which is plenty to charge three different devices at once. We're just gonna look at the bottom here as well. This also gives a handy guide on all of the different output levels of each USB port. So back to the box, we're just gonna see if there's any cabling involved. So they've included a 1.5 meter USB-C to USB-C cable. This is braided, so it feels very high quality. It comes with this Velcro attachment as well. And the housing itself feels good quality. They haven't skimmed out on any aspect of this here. And the fact that the cable itself is braided will mean that it'll survive quite a lot of bends. Also in the box, we have the user instructions. So this is just telling us how to dispose of this correctly. And here we've got the manual. The USB-A ports are more for phones, watches, headphones. And then here we've got the USB-C ports, which are ideal for laptops, tablets, and mobiles. And then here we've got the power distribution diagram. So this just tells us how the power is distributed between each port. So obviously if you're only using one port at a time, it's gonna deliver its full power from the 100 40 watt port. However, if you're using the USB-A cable, the 22.5 watt version, then the 140 watt USB-C one is going to be reduced to 100 watts. And basically, if you use all three ports at the same time, then power is going to be restricted to all three ports. However, this is still pretty fast. So even if you charge three things at once, you're still getting 65 watts on the USB-C one. So here into the USB-C one, I'm going to plug in my MagSafe 3 cable. I want to attach this to my MacBook Pro 2016. And using the MagSafe cable attached to USB-C one allows the power delivery 3.1 to work and it can charge the MacBook Pro 16 inch from zero to 60% in 34 minutes. So one of the cool things about the Ugreen 140 watt GAN charger is the fact that it is so much smaller than the official 140 watt charger. So if we compare these sizes and put them side by side at the bottom, you can see that this Apple charger is way taller than the GAN charger and is way more bulky as well. And also also, the fact is that you can only charge one device at a time with the official Apple charger. Whereas the Ugreen charger can charge three different things all at the same time. And so if you're looking for a charger that's a lot more versatile than the official Apple charger, then I definitely consider this a pretty much an in-place upgrade over your Apple charger for your MacBook Pro. Now, the only disadvantage I can think of is the price itself. Now on Amazon, this has an RRP of $104.99. However, the Black Friday deal has this at £127.49 at the moment. And on top of that, you can apply a £10 voucher and that brings the price down to a very reasonable £117.49. 
and this is pretty much a bargain especially if you compare it to the official 140 watt apple charger which is 99 pounds and that doesn't even come with the actual usb-c charger cable which is an additional 49 pounds so the ugreen 140 watt gan fast charger is pretty much going to be my go-to charger in the future and it's going to be the one that i'm going to take with me on my travels with my macbook pro and also my steam deck as well definitely consider getting one of these as your secondary charger if you do want to make a purchase then make sure to click on the link at the top of the description for my affiliate link anyway i hope you found this video useful if you did please like please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video